Hey folks, what's up? Uh, today we are going to build a custom drop down in React.js. As you guys asked me how to build customized drop downs, uh, I decided to make this video. As you probably know, I have three other uh, videos about making uh, drop downs in React.js, which you can uh, watch them from the top link uh, but I was using react select package for building those uh, drop downs but since some of you guys wanted to have more control on your uh, drop down I decided to build something from scratch without using any library it's so easy let me show you how to build something like this drop down uh, before we start, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, uh, in order to don't don't miss uh, new videos. And if you want to uh, support me, you can easily uh, leave a thumbs up underneath this video. Okay, uh, I somehow removed everything from the project. As you can see, it's my app JS. I just have one array which is uh, my, for my data I have ID, label and logo you can have uh, as much as fields as you want and here it's my app component I just have a div in it I have a h3 for this uh, title and I uh, called another component which is currently empty component and we just pass a title to it select your skills and we pass a a state for selected languages that we created it here let me show you yeah it's using user state i'm using hooks to build the drop down menu and finally inside the unchange i uh, get the value from the component and set it to the state and it's the options array actually it's the, it's the options that user can select between them which we provided it here i also wrote some css i don't want to explain uh, css codes in this video in order to don't make this video a, a long video so they are so easy you can just download the source code from my github page i will add this link in the description below and you can download the project and check it it's so easy and no worries okay let's start uh, the first thing that I need is a label so I'm gonna add my label here and I got it from the props the name is title so I just add it here let me check it yeah it's added and also I want to make a div for actually for my drop down input box so drop down input as you can see I have the drop down input and I wrote some CSS codes in order to be beautiful and I also want another div div class name it's gonna be for our options so let's name it drop down options okay uh, as you can see i have my box here but i need a triangle here for arrow down and i also want to uh, display my selected items from the list so the first thing i want to do is add a span for my triangle and i'm gonna use class name uh, for it arrow down and I don't need any content inside my spam yeah it is added and also uh, what else do I need I need another div to display the content of my select box or drop down menu so I'm gonna use a class name drop down values and within it i just need to check if we have any values just render them otherwise show a place or the text so to do this uh, i'm getting the value from the value props as you can see it here we pass our state to this value 
currently it's empty because we haven't uh, call the set selected languages to in, in order to update the state so let me check first if the value dot lens was more than zero so I'm gonna show uh, my values using map value dot map and v for value and I just need another div let's use class name drop down uh, value this one was values yeah and and otherwise it should show another div for our placeholder the class should be drop down placeholder and inside it I just want to add a text select an item you should you can also get the placeholder text from the props but here we don't need it okay uh, as you can see uh, since we don't have any value inside our value variable uh, it shows my placeholder text okay uh, actually uh, we are going to uh, store just uh, the let me show you first I just want to uh, store the IDs of every elements inside the value prop I don't need to uh, store everything because if our select box was a big one uh, it will be so heavy so, and it's not good so here uh, at first I need to specify key in react.js if you are making if you are building uh, several dips in a loop you definitely need to specify the key in order to be optimized and react and inside react you have to do this so it should be something uh, unique so I just want to add v here because it's the id and it's unique and inside it i first need to show the label of the selected item so i'm gonna do it using options it's actually the actual data which passed from uh, the parent component which is app.js and the index should be v and then I just want to show the label property, which is, for example, Go, C Sharp, Python, and others. Okay, and also I want to have a button for removing elements. I'm going to use a span and set a class name, drop down, remove, yeah, and just add X letter to this. Okay, since we don't have any uh, selected items here, we cannot see it. Okay, here I want to render my options. So options.map and I'm gonna use item for my variable name and inside it I need a div for every option that I have. And let's change the class name to drop down item and inside it first I want to render my image so I'm gonna use img tag and set the source to item.logo and we also need to show the item label here Okay, uh, we have a problem. Yeah, we should specify our key. Item dot. It should be key uh, ID. Yeah. Okay, it's not shown here because there is one reason for it. Inside the drop down options, I set it the visibility to hidden because at first it should be hidden, and when user clicks on it, we should uh, visible it. To do this, I just need add one state to my component. Const is is active and a function for toggling it that it is active. And 
using use state hook and the initial value should be false and here I just want to add one more class to this div if it was active so it should uh, add drop down active class to it the easiest way to do this is using class name library which I have a video about it totally you can understand it it's so useful I suggest you watch that video from the top link uh, here I need to specify the default class which should be drop down options and inside my object I can specify I need to enable drop down active class if is active was true so it will check if this variable was true then it will add this class to the list of class names for our div but since it's not true it will be hidden again if I change it to true you can see our list let's target it to false I need to uh, call set is active if we clicked on this triangle or our placeholder text so to do this I just need to add on click prop and call set is active to reverse of is active and just copy it and add it to our placeholder div yeah it works it has a nice animation if I click on it yeah it works the same uh, but here when I click on my options it won't be added to my list to do this I just need to have one function here I'm gonna name it uh, apply changes and it will accept actually the new item and it should uh, call the unchange function which we pass we should just run it it's so easy we just need to check if we have unchange prop then add it just call it and pass first the current value items and then our new item and we just need to add on click to this div and call our apply change function and pass item.id to our function so if I click on my options they will be added but we have some duplicates which is not good to remove our duplicates we need to hide this item when I click on JavaScript it shouldn't be displayed here in order to prevent user to add to JavaScript inside our drop-down menu so to do this I just need to add a filter uh, before rendering uh, all the options so filter if you don't know about JavaScript filter or map functions I have another video you can watch it from the top link and here I should return true if I want to render the element otherwise I should return false so I, I'm gonna get my options using I variable and do a lookup on my value array so I'm gonna use value.find index it's fine and value is if the value was equal to my item that ID uh, if the result was minus one it means that find index uh, when it couldn't find the element it returns minus one as an index so I just need to check if the result was minus one it means that 
the value doesn't exist so the option should be rendered so let me show you yeah as you can see javascript removed python removed c sharp removed and go also removed and the final thing that i want to go for is the remove functionality so i just need to add another function for removing uh, my items i'm gonna name it remove value and just get the removed item id and check again if unchange exists then call it for me but uh, we should filter uh, the value and remove the removal item and pass the rest to the parent component so just value filter and here i just want to get the value using i variable and check if i wasn't equal to remove the item id it should be passed otherwise it shouldn't pass to the parent component oh i have a mis mistake here and when the user clicks on x letter just add a unclick listener to it and call the remove value and i should pass v here yeah i can remove them easily and it works very good as we wanted okay guys thank you for watching this video i definitely suggest you do this project download the source code and i also wanted to know my question is uh in what way you're building customizable drop menu drop down menus in react.js please share with me in the comment section and also share with me do you want this video to have the second part we can add some another functions like uh, uh, filtering options for example when i type something here it should filter uh, my options or even get data from the server or something similar thank you guys for watching if you are interested to visit this video please leave it a like and you can also watch these videos uh, to have fun in, on my channel